This video is sponsored by Copilot. More about them later. Brace yourselves, DIY friends, because I'm back, evolved, and more inspired than ever. My mission, to breathe new life into my office bookshelves. From plain and mundane to a realm of gothic fantasy, and join me on my epic quest where creative magic knows no bounds. It's not just a makeover, it's a DIY evolution, baby. So grab your hot cold combos and snuggle in because it's time to take this office yeah, into yeah, its 2.0. Yeah, yeah. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Hello, DIY friends. Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to start a new year full of ideas and creative projects. I just, I just feel like this is going to be a big year full of creativity. And as per usual, I am starting my year off in a place of productivity, my office. Ta -da! We are here to give this shelf the makeover it deserved. I kind of feel like a Pokemon, you know, as I level up, I evolve and my DIY skills evolve with that. <laughs> Agility, what, what? <laughs> okay, I'm done. When I first created the vision for this shelf two years ago, long time ago, I wanted the beautiful Moroccan inspired arches, you know, versus like the traditional arches. And this entire thing was really customized to my ceiling. I do have an open exposed joist, uh, which to this day, still obsessed with. I love the vibe. I love how it makes this room feel. But admittedly, this design has really never sat well with me. It's not fully fleshed out yet. Like I guess in my head, it just kind of feels very basic. You know, chapter one, uh, you know, we cut some MDF, we stuck it on, we painted it and voila, it looks beautiful. But I want to evolve it now. I want to rethink the look and I want to make it, I want to say like more like gothic, dark academia style. Like I love dark academia. If you know this channel, you know how much I love it. And I love fantasy and I love magic. And I wish we could live in the world of magic. Alas, we just have to create our own. And I want to bring more of that vibe to this bookshelf through the use of, you know, decorative trim and moldings and color, a much darker color. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I got all this new year energy, new year, new you energy. Mm, 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 mm. Attack combos, bam. Okay, I'm clearly in a mood. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna walk you all through what's currently on my shelf and then we can kind of go from there because we're gonna have to take this all away. I did do some house cleaning before I started filming. <laughs> you always clean the house before you bring your parents over. Huh? You guys are my parents today <laughs> in this analogy. So this shelf normally does not look like this. It was like stuffed with stuff. So I did find new places. You, This video has now forced me to relocate things, which I'm feeling good about. But even through that, I feel like I still haven't really found my shui. I don't know the word I wanna use. I don't know. I, I really, I think the new look of the shelf is going to dictate how things are displayed on here. So I'm very excited for that. So this side is mostly just for storage of books and my receipts and my businessy stuff. And in here, you know, we got, we got Pikachu, my little display and my YouTube plaque. And we got R2D2 here. We have the only Ivy plant I've ever been able to keep alive. Help me. I am an Ivy killer. It's because I'm Batman. But anyways, uh, this Ivy has actually been able to stay alive, so she's happy there. So I think we're gonna end up having to keep her there because I am so desperate to keep her alive. Uh, but we got some poetry books and I got some decor books here. Um, all of my office related stuff that I like because it's very accessible from where I sit at my desk. And uh, this shelf that we built in has been brilliant for me. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This doesn't look beautiful, but this is reality. What is this here? Pistachios. 
always have snacks in your office. Up above, we have this open area here and I've just stuffed magazines, old magazines that I think I should probably just come to terms with and let them go because they're just dust collecting and uh, some sewing stuff that I think can go into my studio. And then we come into the middle area and I'm just gonna pop in over here. <laughs> in the middle section, we have like this little upper window, which I love. I think this was my favorite part about the design, having this little window. While it doesn't serve a lot of purpose, um, I just decoratively like it. And then we have this shelf, which is also just has some decorative things and DIYs that people have made for me over, over the years. Oh, we got our Wonder Woman inspired light here, which is still lovely, love it lots of light. And then over here we have my nerdy shelf. This is my pride and joy. This is kind of my area that really reflects a lot of who I am as a person. Um, being a big nerd, being a graphic novel nerd, an anime nerd, just all things sci-fi and fantasy nerd. So I love this space. It makes me really happy. You know, I don't like to put these things all over my house, but I do love having a dedicated space to celebrate the things that I love and to to celebrate my magic. So this is what this shelf is about. It's really celebrating all of my magic and giving me a place to express it. So yeah, and then in this corner, we just have some more nerdy stuff, uh, just some excess books and decor. Honestly, again, not, not very styled. I think I could do better. <laughs> it's just, you know, this is all kind of whatever. And then down here, we have my integrated fitness area, which I love. I DIY'd this last year and I just, I love this so much. This has been such a game changer for me you know behind here we got all of my dumbbells and workout gear and my shoes and I love this space it's working but speaking of my fitness area <laughs> this is a great time to thank the sponsor of today's episode co-pilot we love a good segue uh, if you follow this channel uh, then you'll remember when I first started my fitness journey it was using the co-pilot app I think you're all going to be very proud of me because I have been sticking to it my goal in the fall was to just help boost my fitness to not only help gain strength but to help boost my mental health as well i've had a really hard time sticking to fitness regimes in the past but through the help of this app and my personalized fitness coach heidi which i love i've been meeting my goals strong independent or strength building <laughs> honestly i've never felt as good as i do right now in a long time and just to feel that way feels so good but okay we have a lot of stuff to get off this shelf so while i'm doing that i'm going to tell you about copilot so let's go so what is copilot it is a fitness coach on your phone. No, seriously, I have a personal fitness coach that I personally talk to through my Copilot app on my phone. Okay, if this is a workout, yeah. There's no AI, it's an actual person. And when I first started my Copilot journey, I had a full one-on-one -on -one call with my personal trainer, Heidi. I got to meet her face to face and I talked to her about my workout journey, my fitness goals. We talked about the equipment I had in my home, certain ailments I could and couldn't do. And she took all of this information and curated custom workout plans just for me. Honestly, it's just kind of been really nice. And I feel like we've become friends. I mean, I share my DIY project projects with her and the same with her. She shares stuff with her family. We talk through the app all the time and I honestly believe she has been the accountability that has made sure I stay on track. If I don't submit my workout plans, she reaches out and checks in. She pushes me and encourages me and it's been working. I get to pick how often and when I work out, which will always be flexible. And now I get two custom workouts every week. That's tailored to me. I used to do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays and now we tailored it to do be Wednesdays and Fridays because that was just what was working in my schedule. I think it's great because if you are a person who likes to go to the gym or you're traveling, the app is on your phone. You can absolutely do these workouts wherever you are and you just have to let your coach know what you have available to you and they can tailor your week accordingly. 
So in lieu of this, I'm going to be sharing one of my workouts with you this week and show you all how it works because I really think it's great. And if you're like me and you need to find a better home gym solution, maybe you might see this as a solution too. If you are interested in finding a new fitness solution and you kind of want to start your 2024 off right, uh, I have a link in my description box or you can scan the QR code on screen. That gives you a free 14 day trial and 20% off your first month of personalized fitness if you sign up full February 1st. I think we're ready for a glow up. <laughs> oh my gosh, we gotta talk plans. Where's my sketchbook? Where's my iPad? Whew, okay. We're sitting. I wanna talk about the plan. So coming up with a visual plan for this was very challenging. I mean, like there's a million different ways you can go about this. There's different types of trim, there's different types of looks, and I was finding it very challenging to plan this. So what I ended up doing was taking a photo of my shelf, bringing it into Procreate, and I just started sketching ideas. So I'm gonna throw up my sketch and show you guys what my current idea is looking like. So what I started doing was just adding features to the shelf, like adding some decorative trim. I added some corbels in a few areas. I have these little corner pieces and I also added this little decorative detail into the arches. So you'll also notice that this is green. I really wanted this space to be black. Like I wanted to match my apothecary cabinet on the other side, but with the garage now in play, I'm gonna be focusing on the upstairs studio space which in is gonna turn into my new office space. So this space is gonna still stay as like a work from home office, but it's also gonna be shared with Jeffrey, my husband. So I wanted to bring him in on the design decisions and I asked him how he felt about me painting it black. And he was like, I don't really want it to be black. I was like, okay, what if we painted it green? And he was like, okay. I, I like green, so let's go with green. He also asked if I could change the wallpaper, but I was like, <laughs> sacrilege. I mean, I know it's pink, but like, no, I'm not there yet. Like maybe one day we'll update it, but I'm not there yet. It's so beautiful. So we're gonna keep the wallpaper, but I'm giving him the color. So we're gonna go with a dark green. That's the compromise. I think it's nice because there are a lot of greens in the mural already. So we're just gonna be pulling from that naturally. So I have a couple pieces here. I just picked up some decorative blocks to play with. I have these little decorative blocks, big and small. These are all just from the hardware store. I've had these for a such a long time. I got these off of Amazon, so I figured we can play with this. I want to show you guys the corbels I got. Check this out. Look at this beautiful corbel. Like it's so teeny tiny, but I think it's like the perfect size, but I love all of like the, the leaf details on this. I just think it's so beautiful. I'm very excited about these. So I bought four of these and I think they're gonna make a really nice addition on the shelf. What else we got? Ooh, um, so then I also got some of this. So this is a trim detail that you can prime and then paint and it's kind of bendy. There's product out there they're called would you bend or would, would you bend? Bent, would, would, would bend you? Would, I think it is would you bend. I'll put it up on screen. I can't remember at the top of my head, but I just, I couldn't get it in time for me to want to do this, but I was able to order a lot of this off of Amazon and I figured we can kind of create some raised details with all of this kind of trim work, um, which I think is going to be great for around the arches and making those little like elements that are just going to make the, it pop. And then I have some trim detail, this like little decorative, uh, smaller trim. And then I bought a bunch of these kind of like ribbed detailed trims, which I think is gonna be really great for the pillars to sit underneath the corbels. Because this is Ikea furniture, we have got to prep and prime these bookshelves or like the paint is just gonna crumble off. And then we'll, we'll keep moving forward. So let's do it. Oof, I'm getting sick. That's not fun. Okay. Up first is 20 seconds of step jack. Press start to begin. Up next is 40 seconds of half burpee. Up 
Up next is 40 Seconds of Ladder Inside Outside. that workout feel great stretches enjoy the rest of your day it's time for your workout boo boo you ready he's ready <laughs> good morning DIY friends I had a good start to my day I worked out and it wasn't like a crazy workout it was a lot of stretching so you know I'm feeling limber I'm feeling good I'm ready to stop my day and uh, I've already started sanding I did all the cold stuff so far so now I brought my sander and my vacuum inside and I'm just gonna start vacuuming all of the well, vacuuming I'm gonna start sanding the IKEA shelves down I do have a full like one minute reel that explains how to paint IKEA furniture the right way um, it's on my channel I'll also link it up here so you can go watch it if you want to know how to prep your IKEA furniture so that it can take paint because there is a very specific way that you need to go about it or it's just not going to take and it's going to peel off so luckily the MDF doesn't need to be sanded because it's MDF and it'll just take anything um, but any of the inside pieces or uh, the tops I'm gonna have to sand so I got a lot of work ahead of me so let's go sand <laughs> Ooh, where's my headphones We're back inside, we are primed. I am so excited. So what I wanna do is I have my brad nailer. I wanna get all the squares put into their spot and then I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna do the middle pillar that's gonna go all the way to the chair rail. So I think what I wanna do is install the chair rail first and then we'll get the bottom pieces on, measure for what the pillars need to be and then kind of go from there. We are gonna have to trim some of the pillar pieces to fit here which I'm gonna make two inches so yeah we got some work to do <laughs> so let's get going because time's a ticket and this bookshelf needs to get done so <sighs> to the brad nail we go back inside. <laughs> I'm moving 
on to the corbels. And what I wanna do is I can't, because of the material it's made of, which I'm not exactly sure what it's made of. Either way, I'm not gonna take a chance by putting a brad nail in this. So I'm gonna use some no nail glue. This is just a construction adhesive. And I'm just gonna glue them on because I don't, I don't really know what else to do, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna just dab some on the corner. It's a great noise. Wow, I just, I'm just, I just went for it. Just gonna stand here for a minute. It does take up to 24 hours to fully cure, but I ain't got 24, well, I have 24 hours. I just don't wanna stand here for 24 hours. So I think I will tape it down. Yeah, so like this gap here obviously is not ideal, but I think we can just fill this in with caulking and like shape it to this piece and then I think it's gonna look okay. You're never gonna know, right? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, corbel number two. All right, there you go, Mr. Glue. Get you on there nice and gloopy. Okay, and then so this is gonna go just above. There it is, corbel number two. Okay, so I am moving on to the trimming of the edge. So this is gonna, I don't really know how I'm doing this. I'm just making this up as I go, but I do need to trim this so that it lines up nicely with the this edge. So I actually might go over it and then do that afterwards. The stuff cuts super easy, so I'm just cutting it with scissors. Is that weird? Okay, so I'm gonna peel off the back. Oh my God, this is so scary. <laughs> Once it's peeled, it's so definite. No, it's not, but it feels definite. Okay, so that's gonna be the corner up there. <laughs> Again, I can caulk it in and make it look nice. This makes me think, what if I did that at the, oh, that's so nice. I love that. Okay, that's what these are for. That's beautiful. Okay, that, that gets me really excited. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> I like that. We're shaking. Okay, and then we put this on top. La da da. Okay, so now I need to basically just decide how big these are going to be and then use a template. How big do we want it to be? Like, I feel like it should start here and then go to like here and then be like...
Okay, so I need to start cutting out all of the trim detail that's gonna sit inside the arches. Now I have this one here. It looks like a cool weapon, doesn't it? It's like, here, yeah, bat meringue or something. I don't know. I do like it though. So I taped it up so that the edges were nice and soft and, and easy to trace because this is going to be the piece that I use for all of the arches minus this one. I haven't drawn this one out. So I wanted to show you how I'm gonna do it with the foam core. I'm basically just gonna do one side because they basically mirror each other for the most part. <laughs> It'll be close enough. And I just want to put this in half actually. This is like represents my personality. I like start out well, and then I just get super frustrated and impatient, and then I just start ripping. Like this, if this doesn't sum up my personality, I don't know what does. Now do you fit? Do you fit? Yes, you do. I'm going to trace that. What am I doing with my life here? Oh my God, do I need to start over? And then up. I think like that will work. Yeah. Good enough for me, man. Good enough for me. So I just gonna, I'm gonna cut this in this, the workshop. Oh, we get to try the new bandsaw. This is exciting. Finally get to put that bandsaw to work. Woohoo! We are back in here, going back and forth through this project. I got all these pieces. I just did like a dry fit of them. They don't fit perfectly, but you know what? They fit well enough that um, we can fill in all of this with a little bit of caulking, so I'm not overly concerned. Plus all of these are a little different, so I could just kind of scoot them around and see which one fits each one the best. I think this is gonna be the part that transforms this entire shelf. Like it looks very Roman, very Victorian, but I think that this is gonna bring in that Gothic element, you know, that I'm looking for. So I'm really excited. Let's go. I just, I don't even wanna talk anymore. Let's just start putting it in. Mm.
Okay, so <laughs> we finally have all the trim detail on here. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know what? It, I don't think it ever was going to be, not with the way that I did it. But either way, I'm really happy with all the changes. Like this is the vision, like this, this is what I drew. So I'm really happy about that. But I do need all of the caulking that I put in to dry fully. Like I can't just paint right away. Unfortunately, it really does need like maybe two hours, give or take. So I figured we still have a lot of painting to do. We have a lot of ground to cover. So I can just start painting all the areas that aren't the front facers. And by the time we probably get to the point where we can paint this, I think we'll be ready. So I want to show you guys the color. This is going to be huge. So let me show you. It's so good. It's like the best green. So for anything that ends up being cabinets or shelves, I always go with the Inselex cabinet coat. This is my favorite. This is a satin. This is what I used on my upstairs vanity. And to this day, no regrets. It's so good. So this color is by Benjamin Moore. It's called Essex Green. Check it out. It's so beautiful. Look at that. It's just stunning. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Ooh, the blackest green we could find. First green on the wall. I love it. I started painting, I think at three o'clock. <laughs> I've been painting since three till 11 o'clock at night. But you guess what? Let's see it. It looks so good. Was this not my drawing? Was this not my drawing? Um, I'm shook. I have a little bit of touch-ups to do in the morning. I need to wait till daylight because I feel like I'm not making any progress anymore. But you know what? It's done guys, and it looks so good. So that means tomorrow we can finally start restyling these shelves and bring it all together. We can finally see what this is gonna look like and it's like gothic Victorian state. So I'm excited, but I'm going to bed and I'm gonna go shower. I'll see you tomorrow. But I do, I, I, I feel so happy to have you guys in my life and, and feel really, really honored to have met you all. Also, side note, staining this, not easy. <laughs> there are a lot of little teeny tiny little crevasses. Good morning. I had a late night last night, but I was so determined to just get it done. I wanted to start today fresh and just being able to design these shelves the way that I wanted them to. But look how beautiful this all looks. Like it's just so moody. It's such a vibe. I even added this little gold uh, decor piece that was on my apothecary shelf. I just like thought it just brought in that vibe. And this morning, as you guys saw, I was doing my mess maker morning with my Patreon members. And on that, we do like one hour of creative things together. And I was staining my hand. I just wanted this to be a vibe and I wanted it to match my desk. So I painted, well, painted, I stained this up in dark walnut and it looks so good. I'm just, I'm so happy. It just goes with the deep green so well. I've been giving this a lot of thought and I think I want to approach the decorating on this shelf in a new way. Normally I had like one section for nerdy stuff, but I think I wanted to 
disperse it and see if we can kind of make a little bit more of a balanced bookshelf. I want the decor to be everywhere. So it's not just one section is nerdy, the whole section is gonna be nerdy. I also would really like to dip into my apothecary side. So I have like a whole bunch of fun little knickknacks and doodads up here that I think would be really fun and just match the vibe. Like this, for example, I got this from the dollar store around the Halloween, but I kind of love it. I feel like it's like a vibe on the shelf now. So I think this is gonna be a really fun decorative moment and I'm excited to dive in. So let's start decorating and let's see if we can bring this all together. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I genuinely can't get over this incredible transformation. Night and day, or, or maybe day and night in this case? <laughs> oh, this dark, nerdy shelf is just so me. The magic-filled fantasy girl is just screaming on the inside. Actually, she might also be screaming on the outside too. It's just, it's just pure magic. Well, dear my friends, this was one heck of a rad project to bust out of the gates for 2024. I am so excited about this. It's it's really cool. I love that each section kind of celebrates little pockets of things that I love, whether that be Batman or, or graphic novels or Dragon Ball Z or just fantasy and magic and, and just, or Star Wars and sci-fi. I just, I love it so much. Ugh. Also, I love that I was able to put my little tree spirits, little katamas everywhere. Let me know if you counted how many are trickled around my shelf. See if you guys can get it and I'll let you know if you're right. And once again, send Sending a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's episode, Copilot. A reminder that I have a link in my description box and if you use it, you get a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first month if you sign up before February 1st. Of course, sending so much love to my Patreon family. You guys have been the best over the holidays and just supporting me through all of this. If you guys wanna check out my Patreon, it is linked down below. Join the Mess Maker Mornings, join this new challenge we have coming up. We're doing a drop it, swap it like it's hot <laughs> DIY challenge with everybody. So if you're looking for a creative boost, then my Patreon is definitely the place to be. Of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing, and love your magic. Bye-bye.